Hi guys, and welcome back to tricking people into thinking you know how to do makeup. So you guys, this is gonna be a tutorial, not like other YouTube tutorials. I'm not like other YouTubers, I'm different. Um, because some people like to point out, what the heck? Some people like to point out that YouTube tutor makeup tutorials are not very user friendly. Um, that if you are not a makeup artist, perhaps YouTube tutorials are not achievable or doable at all. So today we're going to be doing an actually achievable makeup look that you don't have to have six years of professional makeup skills to do. So first things first is primer. Okay, that's so much more tolerable. Let's be real, how do people actually use primer? Not a whole bunch. It just is what it is. Next step. Next, we're going to take our foundation in the color Very Very Cheap. This is by oh, Wet n Wild. I think the entire bottle is $5 and you get a whole fluid ounce. That's the exact same amount of product that you will get from like Urban Decay. <laughs> but this was $5. Let's be for real. Who has, you know, $30 to spend on just their foundation. I certainly the fuck do not. To take your beauty blender, this one is a Sonia Kashuk beauty blender. Cost me a whole four dollars. And today I went in with the shade, it doesn't matter so long as it's kind of closely related to your skin tone. Because who honestly wears a full cake face of makeup to go to work? Literally no one. Next, I'm going to take concealer. This is by L'Oreal. This is the True Match. The shade... Pale as fuck, because that's what I am. This is just a liquid concealer. I'm going to do... Ju oh, just like that. And put one right on that zit, one right on that zit. And just to give some blending power to where I'm putting the concealer on my forehead, I'm just going to put... Three little strokes right there on the forehead. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. Who applies half a face of concealer? YouTube makeup artists. I think this concealer was a whole five dollars. There you go. We're foundated and concealed in what is relatively a normal skin tone. It's not far off. It'll be fine. Next, I'm going to go in with a setting powder of literally any kind. This one's my Maybelline. It was $5. <laughs> See how much product you got in there? Not a whole lot. And we're just going to dab it all over the entire face. Wow, Segoy. Look, my face looks very similarly toned to the rest of my body now, because I don't have two hours of foundation on. That weighs literally four minutes. This was four minutes of my life. Next, we're gonna go on to the hardest thing in all of makeup called contouring like almost nobody does this in real life I'm gonna recommend that you get a blush palette because blush palettes always have a brown in them that complement the blush colors I'm using the NYX what is this sweet cheeks but face palette it was like eight dollars I'm gonna take this brown shade right here this is a white people palette by the way, stay with me. See where about where your eye, the end of your eye is? You're gonna go straight down, you're gonna put your brush right there, and you're just gonna do this real quick. Done. Corner of the eye, straight down. One, two, three. Done. You're gonna go right up here to the corner of your hair, the hairline point, where the side of your head meets the top of your head. One, and just do that real quick. And you're just gonna do it right to the center there, just like that. And then 
Go down like that. Take your powder brush that you just used. And just kind of in back and forthing motions. Back and forth, side to side. 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 Blend. That's it. Look at that. All done. Same brush. Same brush. Same color. Your nose is now contoured. Look, my face looks so different now. You're welcome. Next, we're going to take a blush brush and we're gonna dip into any shade of blush from here that you want. I'm gonna use this one. And what you're gonna do, don't go on the apple of the cheek, same place you started your contour. And you're just gonna do one stroke. Take your blending brush, blend it out. Always do your blush, always apply and blend. Apply, blend. You never want blush to sit because blush will sit there and soak into your fucking foundation and it'll change the color of it. One stroke. Same color. One, two. Back and forth motions, back and forth motions. Look at that, you're doing fantastic, sweetie. Now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. Get yourself a nice brow mascara. All you have to do is have your eyebrows tweezed. I use the NYX brow mascara. It's like $4 or something. It's literally cheap as fuck. You're gonna take that and you're just gonna go like this. Take yourself an eyebrow blending brush. They look like this. Next, we're going to do eyeshadow. And I know what you're thinking. This is the hardest part. This is the part I don't know how to do. It's really hard. Everything else looks super easy up until now. This is gonna be easy too. You're gonna go buy a color. Literally any one you want. I'm gonna use brown because it's easy. You should probably use brown. This is by Maybelline. It's in the color who cares? It cost me $4 or something. I'm gonna be using these two by Sonia Kashuk. This is a fluffy blending brush. This is a pencil brush. And we're just gonna, just gonna dip into here like this. You don't even have to like stroke it. You just give it a few taps, girl. Just a few taps. Tap it on the edge of your mirror. What you're going to do, this is very important. Just start on the under part of your eye the lower lash line, and what you're gonna do is you're going to make a line going in the direction of the tail of your brow. So when you get to about here, you stop. Stop the line, don't connect it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start moving upward through your crease, just like this. And once you get to about the middle of the crease, you're gonna stop. Take your blending brush. Windshield wiper motion through your crease. Smoking it out. Blending and smoking, blending and smoking, blending and smoking, blending and smoking. And yeah, just like that. And if you wanna make it a little bit darker, cause you're looking at it and you're like, oh, that could be a little more. You take that and you're gonna go right there in that outer V spot that everyone talks about, you know, right here. And you're just gonna apply it into the outer V, kind of nice and pretty and dark. Take your brush. Look at that, that was like a whole minute of your life. Replicate on the other side. Now I know what you're thinking. Jay, this isn't a glamorous and high fashion look. You're right. Next we're gonna move on to eyeliner. This one's really easy. Get yourself one of these bad boys. This is a NYX, that's the point. Eyeliner, marker, you want one of these, these slanted, kind of fat tipped ones. 
is just like with a marker. Draw yourself a nice little line. Try not to blink. There you go. See that? That's it. Nobody wears a cat eye out to here. People don't do that. It's weird looking in real life. You're done. That's literally it. Replicate on the other side. Don't use a liquid eyeliner. They smudge, they smear, they take forever to dry. It's not efficient. You use a fucking marker. Uh, it's an eyeliner marker. This is $5, I think. They're so cheap. Now we're at the point where we're like mascaras. This is by Maybelline. It's $5. What you gonna do is you're gonna apply it to the top lash. And that's it. You're gonna apply it to the top lash. Don't apply it to your bottom lash, that looks weird. Don't apply falsies. That's weird. People don't do that. We're gonna move on to highlighter. How many people actually wear highlighter in their real life? No one. But, for the sake of it being a tutorial, we're gonna do it anyway. Cause why not? I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild highlighter. This is $4, I think, I don't know. It's very cheap, I'm using the color Blossom Glow. It's very pretty. We're gonna take a nice, like, fluffy dome brush like this. About this size compared to the fucking thing. And you're just gonna give yourself a little swirl on there, like that. You're gonna see, it's not like it's like, tinting the brush, okay? You don't need the Jeffree Star beaming highlighter. Just like three little strokes. If you wanna do more, add more. Then you're gonna take this right here, right on that high point of the cheekbone. Just like that. Just like that. See, nice and pretty. Wanna feel a little bit extra? Dab a little on the upper lip. Very nice. What I like about this highlighter is that it's very subtle and if you want, you can build it up. So you watch this. Nice, right? And boom, just like that. I took what was a subtle highlight and then brought it up to a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a look. There you go, that's highlighting, you're done. Last thing is you have to pick a lip color. And you're like, oh God, I have so many lip colors. Everyone has a whole bin, just like every beauty guru in the world. I have 10,000. Um, I'm gonna go with this uh, CoverGirl. This is in the shade, who gives a shit? Pink. A nice, pretty subtle pink lip. There you go. If you want, you can set it with a setting spray. Let's go with the uh, Maybelline Master Fix setting spray. I feel like all the time there's this pressure to have a thousand brushes and products and the most expensive things you can find. This is all the brushes I use, this is it. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brushes. You need seven brushes to do a full face of makeup and a beauty blender if you want. Seven brushes and a beauty blender. And like low key, do you really even need this? Like if you if you try really hard, you can actually do the, the shaping and, and, and stuff and blending with the spoolie from the eyebrow product, so. All right, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Also, if you really like me, head over to my Patreon, where you, if you want, you can become a supporter of me. I do not have ads or anything like that on this channel, so I don't make any revenue off of these YouTube videos. Um, but you can go join my Patreon for one, ten, or twenty-five dollars. Over there, you can go see my private vlogs, which is me and Awifu. We're running around doing things, vlogging, doing makeup, getting ready, etc., etc., etc. And additionally, there is a box giveaway thing at the end of every single month, so you can go and check out all the 
rewards and stuff over there. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.